good morning today is friday what am i going to be doing today i am going to be oh all my things out okay on my nails i have butterflies on them that like sprung up and they're gone i'm sad but you can still see a butterfly there but the wings actually came um i just got distracted y'all know how i feel about my nails but Today is Friday, it's raining. I'm kind of mad because I'm doing a quick little getaway. And I just looked at the weather report. It wasn't, I didn't even think to look at the weather report. Um, just kind of doing a self care day, self care day. And it looks like it's gonna be raining for the next two days. Oh well, um, I'm still gonna go and and get out but now i'm just about to head to walmart because i realized i don't really have y'all my clothes aren't fitting again if y'all see this again this because it's the only thing that actually fits me even though it's getting bigger because y'all this used to be a crop top as you can tell it is no longer a crop top it's like a full shirt now like for real for real um but yeah i gotta go I'm gonna try to go find something to put on really quick because I'm not gonna be gone long. So I have to come right back, but I am just gonna get away for a minute. And um, yeah, we're gonna see. But um, yeah, so I'm about to head to Walmart really quick, see what I can find. vlog will be coming soon it's just gonna try to unplug to be honest i'm just gonna try to unplug and just unplug and it's needed um i hope you yourself can take time a day a week if you can afford that to just unplug get centered with self um just be do a reset be rejuvenated rest if you can and um just go from there because i'm in a place where my spirit is needing a reset a rejuvenation and to become center with self and rest and that's what we're going to try to do today all right so, I hope everyone is having a beautiful, amazing day. If I don't talk to you again, or if you don't see me um, again today, then just know that we we are okay. We're good. We are resting. We are resetting, and we are spending some much needed time to self and taking care of self and just having an amazing self-care moment all right i'll see y'all later i'm still in the same spot y'all because it is raining so bad right now and i don't want to get discouraged and just like cancel my whole day because where i'm going it's supposed to be all sunny and bright and nice it's just a it's just a bluff. It's just like all gloomy and raining really, really, really bad. So, I don't know what to do. Should I cancel my trip? Should I still go? Like, what y'all think? What y'all think? I don't know. 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 We gonna see. Like, I don't know what this ripped around neighborhood. And I was sitting there because the, the oh gosh, and now all the power is out over here. I wonder if I'm gonna be able to get gas. Probably not. This is wow. I don't know what just ripped through our neighborhood, but now the power is out over here. 
the trash cans and everything was like, oh my gosh even look at the power lines like i don't know what just happened and i was like sitting there and i didn't see it that's what's crazy i'm literally sitting in the driveway and y'all i can't even come get gas because that's what i was leaving to do but baby yep gas stations are out and it's so crazy how you can be literally oh my gosh that'll preach you're literally sitting in the middle of a storm and it's going haywire around you and god protects you y'all when i tell you i felt nothing in my car i felt nothing in my car i didn't even see it like i heard the rain and i know how the trash cans were because i had just put something in the because it's, it's trash pickup day so i had just put something in the trash can and i know they were standing up right y'all when i tell y'all all the trash cans in my neighborhood y'all i didn't hear this i didn't see it i like slunk everywhere it was not like that when i just got in my car and i'm literally sitting there i don't hear nothing but the rain falling I don't see nothing, no movement, no anything. God will protect you in the middle of a storm and now all the power is out in the neighborhood. Like I I was coming to the I literally was coming to the gas station. Just that quick. The power's out at the gas station. The lights are out. The street lights are out. Now we're seeing JN. We're seeing like um um uh, emergency um vehicles and everything that are coming. Y'all. I didn't see any of this happening. I was sitting in my car for a little minute, but even in that, I didn't see anything. I didn't hear anything. And just that quick, like I heard the rain and it wasn't like it was heavy, heavy rain. God will literally protect you in the middle of the storm where you don't even see what's coming at you, what's being thrown at you, what is happening around you. He literally shields and protects you. He is literally your strong tower where you can go in. He is your refuge where you can go in and hide. Y'all, I didn't feel my car wasn't even shaking, moving, nothing. And to see this and how this whole area is right now and I was just sitting in it and none of it came close to me when i tell you everybody's yard that whole street like everything is thrown everywhere i'm driving out of the neighborhood and the guy that i know who washes everybody's cars is like he always has his sign out y'all his sign is on the whole other side of the street how did i not see any of that how did I not feel any of that? God will literally shield and protect you. Like, I need to, and I need to get gas. I don't even know where I'm going to go get gas from. But this is wild. This is wild. God will cover you even when you don't know you need covering. Y'all catch this in the spirit. He will cover you when you don't even know you need covering. And I'm just sitting in the car all willy-nilly like I ain't got nothing to do. Ain't nothing happening around me. And it's a whole storm, tornado, something happening. And I ain't feel any of it. I didn't even see it. Sometimes God will protect you from things so much because he cares and loves for you that much. Like, you won't feel it, y'all. But it won't even come in your path to see it. He will block your vision from seeing things that are coming at you that may hurt you, may, that may deter you, that may discourage you. Y'all, I didn't see not one thing happening around me, in front of me, behind me, on the side of me. I didn't see anything, let alone see. I didn't feel it. I might have heard a little raindrops and it was like not major. Y'all catch this. Because I just caught it. That man is a man. I'm sitting dead in the middle of a freaking storm. And I ain't see nothing. I ain't feel nothing. None of it came near me. None of the remnants of the storm affected me. I gotta go. Because now I gotta go find gas. And I don't know where. Yep. Y'all, I'm telling you. The gas station, like, black. The pumps, black everything out street lights not even blinking they're just out 
and I'm sitting here watching traffic. They're trying to even figure out how to navigate. This is wild. But Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. See y'all later. Like, if y'all think I'm lying, I am not lying. No, like, look at this street post right here. Y'all. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so wild. Nothing. Why am I doing it Walmart? I don't know. Like, just so it is, we're in and out fast. So we're gonna run in and run out. Okay, Sydney, we're running in and running out. Okay, so we're gonna go to the store and sort it out. This is big struggle now. You know, it's because I wanted to swing open. And it's a lot of rooms. I don't know if I need to go down to a large area. Let me try. Let me do some time. Alright, y'all. So, we got these. We're going to try all this on. I've never done a Walmart. I'm going to try on haul. So, we're definitely going to try. I'm 
just saying I needed some shorts, some jean shorts, y'all. Tina, you know, what? Let's go through these. Okay, we gotta get out of here. Soften up the mess, drop it in the water, let the daughter find an image with the rest. She'll be learning how to breathe. Spinning through identity, reveal another pretty little All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get into this very first our try on haul in store. So y'all know this color is my color and when I tell y'all, when I originally saw it, I'm like, I gotta get it. I have to get it. And then like I saw the set together and I'm just like, I just have to get it in every single color. So we're trying it on this lime green and I just paired it with a regular white t-shirt out of there. I think it was like maybe three to five dollars. I don't remember. So what I wanted to do is try on the extra large top first. The pants or the shorts are large. The top was an extra large because I want to make sure that it covers me and it buttons up. Yeah, as y'all can see, it is very big. I mean, it was very comfortable, but it was very big as well. And um, so, I just wanted to see um, how it was going to look on me. And I thought it was a cute set overall, but now I'm just about to switch it out into the large shirt and just see how it fits and how it looks all together and put on. So, this fits a little better. I was shocked, y'all, that it actually <laughs> was going to fit and cross, um, cross or button up at the top. But y'all, I yeah, I was feeling this piece. The color is everything. The smaller size and the top work really well. So this whole set is in a size large. And I believe I got the tank underneath in a large as well. But y'all, definitely worth the buy. So yep, threw it in the bag. So I'm trying on the white one. The white, they only have an extra large. And as y'all can tell, it is very big very big and not so flattering and yeah i wanted to see just see how it looked but y'all this one i believe is my favorite over the green the green the color is just everything but this pink it just does what it's supposed to do and that is in a size large and i think it is really really cute like wow my really y'all like y'all have some cute pieces i couldn't believe it but this set was everything it was everything. So, yep, threw that in the cart, too. And now, y'all, I wanted to try those shorts. They were $10, I think. Those were ranging between 12 No, those were the $10 ones, I think. And then there were some that were, like, um, $11.98. So, I think it was $9.98 for some and $11.98 for others. So, child, I wanted to see if I could do it. And, okay. Walmart sizes are not fashion over sizes. I believe that was in the size 13. Yeah, I think it was in the size 13. So, baby. Yeah, so I figured, you know, we could just go for, like, have these be some gold shorts, you know. Um, so, give me something to work towards. But they were so cute. They were so cute. I love a little slit on the side. And, you know, just a little bit more. And we're going to be able to do that thing. So, I wanted to try it in a different color. This is a darker wash. Yeah. Okay. These were the ones. I think these were the ones that were $11.98 or $11.88. And I got those in a size 13. As you can see, I cannot fit them. So, hey. Something else to look forward to and work towards. These y'all i wanted to show y'all the difference in the cuts because these were a 13 and it's just like how i can fit these but couldn't fit the other 13s and definitely couldn't put them the other 13s so and like yeah so i wanted to just show y'all the whole difference and everything and this was another pair i love the color in it and y'all look couldn't do it i was like hold on maybe maybe not girl i wanted to show y'all the whole everything y'all know it keeps it real over here so y'all know how we sucking in and we stuffed that belly and we gonna get it i think my nails were in the way though and i was scared to like break them or something because i had just gotten done so but i wanted to show y'all how we be doing like yeah this is a funny stage but baby we got them buttoned up and we got them zipped up too and I thought these shorts were so cute. They were so cute. 
well you know you see how you got a little muffin top but ladies all you gotta do pull it up pull it up and that will solve that and with this shirt i ain't even paid no attention but i just thought like the color was going to make it pop like if you just wanted to pair this together it's not a good look it does fit i had a lot of room in the waist but just where the boob part starting and stop it would not work with my top part of my body type so this would be perfect for somebody with smaller boobs y'all not this piece when i originally saw it i think maybe a couple weeks ago i was like oh that's cute um so when i saw it again it was still there it comes in other colors i just thought like it was perfect it was comfortable um you could move freely in it this was in the size of large and y'all it was so cute so comfortable and just the overall piece i think you can dress up or dress down i just wanted to show y'all how it looks from the back even if you have the back rolls you just gotta know what to do but yes again this is in a size large and i just really thought this was so cute and i put my head to the front just to show y'all like even when you're wearing strapless if you're a little self-conscious about the top part of you baby put that head to the side all right y'all and then this happened this is my first medium ever i bought in my adult life I have never, I probably don't even think I wore a medium as a child <laughs> or as a teen. I've always been large, extra large, 1X, 2X, and then we got all the way to a 3X. So y'all, this is a real life moment of me like really just living and staying in this moment of I'm really in a medium sized dress right now. Like to go from a 3X to a medium it's wild and crazy to me like don't pay attention to my middle section y'all just just ignore that part focus on what i'm talking about like to go from a 3x to purchasing a medium i don't care about the material i don't care where it's coming from it's a simple fact that y'all i have a medium and we're purchasing her and we're about to throw her in the cart because she is coming home with us like it just makes your hard work and everything that you have fought for, you have cried through, you've endured the pain for. It just literally makes it all worth it in this moment. We're going to work on the other stuff. We're going to work on the tummy. We're going to work on all the other stuff. But the simple fact is we have lost so many inches to the fact we're in a size medium dress. Oh, glory to God, man. This is wild. This is so wild to me. And I love the way my boobs look and feel in this. Like, it just feel real comfortable, honestly. And, yes, it's just giving what it's supposed to give. And this piece, you can dress it up, dress it down. I'm probably going to do so many things with this dress this summer. But the color is on point. The fit is on point. And then when you add your little undergarments to it, it's just going to smooth it all out and look good. All right, y'all, and I next dress. Like, this was so cute, so comfortable. So blowy, girly, again, we're going to dress it up or we're going to dress it down. This is actually an extra large. I will probably go down a size to a large in it because it did have a lot of room in it. Um, but, you know, I even like the way it made my girls look and feel up top. Y'all know how I am when it comes to these girls. But it was just overall a piece that just looked good, felt good, really cute, very summerish. Um, it probably can be you can throw a jean jacket on or something and just wear it year round. Like, I think this is one of those color dresses that can just go either way. But yeah, it was in a size extra large and it was a little too big for me, so I can definitely go down a size in this dress. But the floor is right, the length is right, everything about this dress is right. So I enjoyed it and it was so cute, so cute. And this one was another cute one. Like, again, the flow, the feel. It feels good on you. It feels good in it. Um, the look of it is really good. I believe this is in a size large. And, you know, boobs and girls are sitting right, looking right. It was just really cute, girly, perfect for the summer. Perfect. Now, let's do the season. Uh, Who's going to know? <laughs> miles take exit 48 onto Atlantic Boulevard towards State Road 10.
I cannot believe I'm feeling like this way. I have another, I don't even know, probably 40 minutes to go. And I was about to be traffic. And y'all, I got an air blowing on me and everything. Y'all look a whole mess right now. I feel so sick. Like, I got the air all the way up. All the way on me. Hoping that that'll do something. But, um. Baby. 
we are in God. 